Hello, I'm Madeep Singh, founder of Madeeps.com. In this video, we'll take a look on how to create new themes for our live rotator module. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, let's begin by adding an instance of the module to the page. So here we have our live rotator module. Now, before we can demonstrate how easy it is to create your own new themes or your new look and feel for the rotator, uh, we need to have a, a rotator that we would like to model after. So uh, let's take a look at the dot.nuke page. And this is the new dot.nuke site. And as you can see, there's a rotator or banner at the home page right here, uh, which is basically there's four images and they're rotating. Or you can click on a solution directly or slide directly and it takes you there. So let's see if we can create something like this with live rotator and let's see how easy would that be. So let's switch back to our page and let's click on Manage Lights. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and upload those images. Now, of course, these will be uh, pre-done for you by your graphics department or someone who manages the images for you. So here we have the images right here. So we've just uploaded them. And you can click on an image to see uh, how it looks. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, uh, go back and see how that would look right now. So there we have our banner to begin with, which is already rotating and it's fading. What we don't have is those nice uh, lengths at the bottom, which will go ahead and uh, allow us to give us a visual navigation, allow us to click on it move forward. So let's go ahead and create a new thing. So what does it take to create a new thing? Uh, if you pull up your .NET Nuke site uh, root directory, which we have for this site right here, uh, navigate to desktop modules, go to the live rotator module, go to the themes folder, you'll see a bunch of different themes. Now to create your own theme, all you have to do is to create a new folder here. We'll call this DNN banner. And within that folder, you need a CSS file. So I'm going to go ahead and call this default.css and uh, this is the bare minimum requirement to create theme so if if i go ahead and uh, get this out of the way and click on options and let me bring this in the, into the view i will now have dnn banner theme right there because i created a folder and put in a css file in it so if I go ahead and change that and hit save, you see there's no much difference because I haven't done really work. I've just created the structure. So let's bring back our folder and let's see what we can do to do uh, create our own visual feel. So uh, any any uh, web navig document or any any web uh, control basically is made up of two things HTML markup and some CSS so we have a blank CSS here page nothing in it yet uh, now we need some HTML markup so I'm gonna go ahead and create a folder called template and within this template I can write my own HTML markup so I'm gonna create a text file called slide.htm now this decides what HTML markup goes in for each slide so if you have 10 images there could be 10 different separate markers created based on this template so let's open this up and I'm just gonna say uh, I'm just gonna say that I want slide content to appear here now uh, that's all I really need there so I'm gonna go ahead and save and as I'm writing this template I can see its effects by just refreshing the page here which I just did and as you can see there's really no changes because I haven't done anything but with the default behavior so uh, let's let's go back to let's go ahead and uh, pull our uh, folder back I'm looking for it lost it right here uh, so what I want to do now is actually create a header .htm. so I, I want all my slides to be inside this header and what I'm going to do is basically have a div and all the slides within it so I just pasted this div here and let's see what we did I just created a div with an ID called live rotator 
and a token called module ID. Now this token at runtime will be automatically replaced with the module ID of that particular module. And I also created a class name. This is uh, the naming scheme that we use and we we ask that you stick to it. The LR lowercase starts for live rotator. The DNN banner is the theme name. That's the temp, the folder you created in themes. And default is the skin name, which happens to be the CSS file you created right here. So just stick to that uh, approach. And uh, here we just have a div. I'm going to go ahead and save it. So of course, if you have a header, we need a closing footer for it. So I'm going to go ahead and create another text file here. I'll just call this footer.htm. So let's open this one up. And in this one, we're going to do a little bit more work. First, the div that I created in the header, I'm going to close that. The second thing I want to do here is uh, actually provide for those navigation links. So I know I'm going to need some kind of unordered list, a UL element. So I'm going to go ahead and create one of those, and I'm just going to add it into a div. So I have some code already here in clipboard, and let's see what we did. So I just created a div. I gave it a class. Again, I just sticked with my naming convention, and I just added the word NAV nav to it so I can style it using the style sheet. Within that I have a an order list to also I give it an ID. Again I've explained how, how this will get replaced by the module ID. Now within that an order list I have another token called slide pager. So this is something that's gonna have to be dynamic again because for every image we have in the rotator we want we would want another list item for it. So I'm closing the UL here and then I'm closing the div here. So that's all for the footer. Let me go ahead and close that. So now finally we need one more markup and that's going to be called pager.htm because this is where we specify what goes into that UL because that's where we put the token. So let me bring this back up. So what goes into the pagers? Very simple. We just want a list item for each slide and we want a link in it which is not going anywhere to a hash and we want the text of the link to be the, whatever the slide title is so let's go ahead and save this and let's see uh, let's refresh the page and let's see what changes this made to our um, our page well at the first glance we don't see many changes we just see this unordered list and there's nothing really in it that's really because we didn't add any titles for our slides so let's switch to manage slides really quick and let's just add um, some of these titles to our slides so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call explore.net nuke second one I'm gonna go ahead and call enterprise solutions then we're gonna say .NET Nuke Community, and lastly, I'm going to say the .NET Nuke App Gallery. Okay, so if I switch back, I see that. Uh, let me click here. So if I switch back, I see those links here. Again, I see all my markup there. I don't see it in a very nice presentation though, and that's because we haven't touched the style sheet yet. So if we go back to our template folder and go one level up here's a default dot CSS and there's literally nothing there we're not styling it at all so we are gonna go ahead and show how to create your own templates I already have all the style sheet created that I'm just gonna copy and paste in here and save that and that style sheet uh, uh, requires two images so I'm gonna copy this images folder that really has two images in it so if I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page now you will see that our DNN rotator now looks very similar, actually exactly like uh, like our .NET Nuke homepage looks like. The only thing is I got my titles messed up. .NET Nuke App Gallery should appear here to match with the image, but that's another story. Well, there we have it. It's really that easy to go ahead and create your own look and feel with Live Rotator. Now this particular template is available for download in our form so you can learn from it and create your own. Like always, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching the video.